you actually know this band. In fact, you toured with them. Is, uh, I don't know, is that Animals as Leaders? Because I don't know it. My brain is starting to hurt. Okay, I don't think they ever expected to have piano as part of their arrangement. <laughs> you guys are making me work. Hey everybody, I'm Jordan Rudis. I'm the keyboard player with Dream Theater, classically trained pianist that turned prog rock, metal musician, and a lot of things in between. Music is my passion, and here we are to make things happen. Do you know what we're about to do? Well, you gave me a hint that I'll be listening to a song that I, I think I've probably never heard before. We're gonna give you a song to learn. You actually know this band. In fact, you toured with them recently. So hopefully you were paying attention, maybe not. So <laughs> we're gonna send you the song. Okay. Um, here it comes. I don't know, is that Animals as Leaders, or...? Yes! Yeah, I like it. I enjoy playing my lead section. I sh I'll send them the bill later, so... That... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why don't I just um, grab my pencil, and I'll kind of, like, start writing out what I hear, I guess. Yeah, stop. Play it again. Oh, stop. Let me jam along with that for a second. Oh, because some of it, some of the challenge is just the meters they're playing in, but go ahead. That's seven eighth notes. I just want to learn that riff. Da -da 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 -da. You know, for now I'll take an educated guess, because I think I think I'm playing it right. Sometimes with lower guitar parts with distortion, it's a little hard to to here that even though I have perfect pitch, sometimes it's a little hard to tell exactly. So we will consider that the bass solo and I don't have to play. You know, I could have called up my transcriber and saved myself energy, but that's not what this is about. <laughs> I got my lead section is pretty clear, and the ambient section is what it is, so that's fine. Okay, I don't think they ever expected to have piano as part of their arrangement, but strange things can happen. Wait, that's the whole song? Wait, so they write like three minute uh, prog tunes? <laughs> that's, that's good. I kind of got the idea of it. Now whether I can read my gibberish and actually play through the whole thing, that's a whole different story. We wanted so badly to find something that wouldn't be super easy. So. Oh yeah, so animals as leaders, okay. You ready to roll? Thanks, do I look ready? Hold on. Let's rock this thing, no mistakes. I don't get paid to make mistakes. <laughs> Here we go.
The dancing part. More. Ah, it's me. I was getting so involved in dancing. Oh my gosh. Not perfect, but close. Close enough for rock and roll, right? It wasn't as crazy as it could have been. I mean, I guess because I am used to like dream theater stuff where the meters are changing a lot. And you know, this is a challenging song and hearing it without even the ability to slow it down or anything. But beyond that, no, it's really fun because I'm here in front of my Korg. I've got my sounds, my kind of like dream theater palette loaded in and I was able to kind of put my hands on things rather quickly and then what I do is I put them in order, and once I have the order kind of laid out, it pretty much guides me through the song. Hey, thanks so much for watching this madness where I'm learning an animal, oh, I should know the name of the song. Yes, this song is called the Woven Web. Web. It's been a hell of a good time. I've enjoyed it so much. Crazy, amazing experience for me, jamming with the guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah.